Well, hello on a totally unexpected uh, Wednesday afternoon. Um, I got a guitar in a box I want to open up. So we'll wait for some friends to show up. But in the meantime, totally unexpected um, for you, for me. I knew this was coming, but I decided, you know, taking a late, late lunch break. So let's hang out. Um, so let me check and see if anybody's here. Okay, dokie. So, um, if you're here, tell me who are you? Where are you from? What are you doing? How's your Wednesday going? Um, does this sound good? It looks good. Actually, it looks low. But let me keep messing with with console over here. I'm using a different channel than I normally use, so I'm not quite as hot. There we go. Looks like I'm. That, that looks better. Is that clippy? How does that sound? Tell me what you hear, what you are experiencing. I also have a guitar that I'll play here in a minute. So, Raymond, Mr. Tube himself, Raymond. Hey, how are you, man? I was thinking about you the other day. Every time I drive up that stretch of the highway and I see the bridge, I think of your place. So, anyway... Um, Nathan Duff is here and it sounds great. Sorry, my computer's over there. It's a little different setup today because I have this box over here that I'll open up here in a second. Um, and uh, so in this box is a 1963. Uh, what is this? This is a Fender. Okay, I'm not 100% sure which guitar this is. Uh, this is a guitar that came in collaboration with, uh, with a friend of mine, with my friend Terrence, who runs uh, Guitar Bench Magazine. He buys guitars, he sends them to me, and then we sell them. So uh, this one, I'm pretty sure, is a 63 uh, Jazz Master. Uh, it's refinned in Fiesta Red, which is a great color. I think it even has a matching headstock, which, tell me, what do you think? Matching headstocks, cool, yes or no? Um, so anyway, I think let's get into it. Uh, I'm Jeremy. This is Guitar Hunter. Over here is a Jazz Master. Make sure you subscribe if you're not. And uh, this is just a different kind of thing. Just when I got a cool guitar, I figured I'd jump on uh, YouTube Live and um, let's open it up. So with uh, with no further ado, let's get into it. I'm also going to do my best to not show you my address that's on the label on the back side here. So... Um, Thankfully, I don't shoot in 4K. So, Ooh, this is good tape. Someone else's info on this side. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Wait a second. This might be a complete. <laughs> this is an acoustic guitar. I think that this might be a McElroy. Oh boy. Gonna have to change the thumbnail. No. Oh. Where's the handle? What is happening? There it is. Down low. Yeah, yeah, that, my friends, is not, that's no Jazzmaster. Um, this must be a McElroy, which is a much cooler and much more expensive guitar. I shouldn't have a razor blade in my mouth while I'm doing this. Okay, well. What are you? Well, this is both exciting and a little problematic. Um, I thought it was a jazz master. I have a Jazz Master over there, a custom shop one, also Terrence's. But let's open it this way so you can see it first. I'll have to change the microphone since this is an acoustic guitar so we can hear it better. So hang on one sec. But I thought a thing that was wrong. Let's 
is this? Holy cow. Okay, actually, I'm just going to add down there. So this is a Matthew Akara. This is an entirely different guitar. Look at that mahogany. Can you see that figure on the mahogany on the back? So, Matthew Akara. Matthew Akara is a great guitar builder. Uh, this is a funny, yeah. Um, so Terrence and I have so many deals going back and forth. I was convinced that this was a different guitar than it is. I'll get a different mic here in a second. This is a funny moment. Like, the thumbnail's wrong, I was wrong. These strings are popping a lot. It's a very fair guitar. This is no jazz master. So this appears to be a very faithful kind of Martin style. Um, an OM-18 with mahogany back and sides. Highly figured mahogany on the back and sides. Look at that figure. All right, let me change the microphone really quickly. I didn't plan on this. Okay, we're going to do this one. Okie doke. Let me. Okay. Um, yeah. So I've got the Aston Origin here. I'll give you a general idea of how it sounds. This is a very light guitar, and I can just. The gain is set too high. Hang on one sec. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, that should be better-ish. We'll go JP Cormier style. Just do one of these in the room here, and it should get my voice and the guitar. So, and I'll come back over here and... Well, this is what happens when we do stuff live. Isn't that funny? Yeah, this is the weirdest jazz master I've ever seen. Nope, that doesn't work. So if you're just tuning in, this is no jazz master. Uh, this is a Matthew Akara. Um, this is serial number 100. That's really, that's a huge thing. Um, this must be a very much a milestone kind of guitar. So this is an OM. It's a triple O or it's an OM. It's mahogany back and sides. It's really, really excellent quality. It's a very wide nut width. Um, might even be thicker than inch and three quarters. I can get, I have a new fangled caliper. Let me... Yeah, this is not a jazz master. So yeah, 1.79 inches. So wider than inch and three quarter. So 45.6 millimeters wide. Anyway, yeah. Dad get still sounds distorted. What is happening? Hello, test, test, test. Well, look, everything looks good here. It looks like I'm coming in at like 10 decibels under. I'm going to turn this mic off and get the other mic back and then we'll talk more about this guitar and then we'll call it quits for today. Okie dokie. Well, <laughs> mistakes have been made. Um, yeah, so this guitar is a Matthew Akara, and I've said that again. Some wires got crossed for sure between Terrence and myself, but man, look at that. That's really beautiful figured mahogany. And then this guitar has, I mean, it's a 46, what do we say? 46 point something millimeters. It's a wide nut for sure. And it's a really comfortable guitar. It's very light. I would bet it's just a couple pounds. This guitar, I mean, this is built like, there's this move in guitars right now that is to just do 
just the most dead on replica style guitars of 1930s Martins. I would bet this is like a 34 OM 18. Um, it doesn't have a logo on the front, has a stamp on the back of the headstock. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but let me. Yeah, Matthew Akara guitars. I mean, he's doing it right. It's very, very Martin looking inside. This is also serial number 100. So anyway, I'll come over here to the comments and see uh, what people have to say. Okay. Uh, interesting looking jazz master you have there. <laughs> Looks like a Shenandoah. Yeah. Um, still sounds distorted. Beautiful mahogany regardless. Sorry. Uh, might be a streaming issue. No biggie. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Uh, this nothing has gone to plan. Turns out this is what happens when you're just impulsive and we just jump on. So uh, stamp on the back of the headstock always gets me. Me too. I think it's very cool. Um, so Seth says, P.S. Check out black cap guitars out of Washington State. Some of the most impressive boutique builds I've ever seen or played. That's exciting. I think we're at a place now where there are just excellent guitars coming from all over the place. Everywhere you turn, people are paying attention to the craft of guitar building and they're really putting in good hard work to make it happen. So, This thing also has just the meatiest. Look at that freaking volute. That is just, if you want me to fall in love with your guitar, put a big meaty volute. I mean, that one is deep. Goes all the way up, almost past the tuners. Good Waverly uh, tuners with ebony buttons. Um, yeah, this is just going for like an ultra uh, traditional guitar. So anyway, not a jazz master. And uh, this has been a fun live. So any other questions, comments? Yeah, um, Jose. So I thought this was a jazz master until I opened the box. And then I realized this was an acoustic guitar. So this is a guitar that came to me in collaboration with um, Guitar Bench Magazine So and Terrence. This is a Matthew Acara. This is serial number 100. It looks very much like a 34 style. Sorry, a 1934 000 18. Sorry, OM 18. And so it's forward shifted X bracing. It is the teardrop pick guard. It's what's the scale length? We haven't checked. But I would bet it's 25 and a half. If I had to bet. Hmm. 25.4. 25.4 scale length. And um, anyway, exciting, excellent guitar. So anyway, um, thanks for thanks for hanging out. I'm going to go get back to work and uh, keep trying to fill the world with music and friendship. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Um, yeah, this is a fun live. It's always good being bad at things publicly. That's a thing my personality enjoys almost made it through one whole round of something without making a mistake that that rarely rarely happens uh anyway thanks for watching mistakes are what make uh will make things great and uh yeah no jazz master day whoops my bad anyway make sure you you like and subscribe thanks for hanging out and uh yeah see you guys later